Hello there everyone, I am the Six Machine and welcome back to another Warhammer video. So the Death Guard are coming. As the newest article on the Warhammer community page states, the Death Guard Codex is, and I quote, almost here. So I think that is a pretty clear indication. It's going to be up for pre-order either this weekend or possibly next, but I would hedge my bets and say it's probably going to be this weekend, which is some amazing news for all of you Chaos players as it looks as though we are in for some very fun, very fluffy, and arguably some much needed updates for the Factions of Chaos. Now obviously this preview is focused on specifically the Death Guard, but I think it's fair to say that a lot of these changes that they, they talked about in the preview today will carry across to the Thousand Suns and the regular Chaos Space Marine Codex, so let's take a look and see what we have to look forward to. So first off, the Plague Marines, the classic old school tough infantry who, let's be honest, didn't seem quite so tough for their points anymore once all the Marines jumped up to two wounds. I mean, you know, Toughness 5 is nice, but still one failed save was all it needed to get rid of them. Now they've got a much improved profile being bumped up to not only two wounds themselves, but also gaining a second attack. As you can see on the screen there, their new profile, really pushing them into being the equivalent of Primaris Marines, which to be fair, in my opinion, they should be, especially the Cult Marines. But it does appear as though this is going to be rolled out for all Chaos Marines in the future, as the article says, which is to be honest, kind of expected. I mean, I think everyone thought that Chaos Marines would get bumped up to, to two wounds, it would be incredibly bizarre if the Loyalist Marines got two wounds and the Chaos ones stayed at one. But what I'm kind of curious to see is whether the regular Chaos Marines will also get this extra attack, or if that is just for the Cult Marines specifically. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to play it either way, but personally, I would quite like to see Chaos Marines getting an extra attack. I think that would kind of help to show their sort of ferocity and their lust for battle compared to their Loyalist brethren. Um, even if they were slightly more expensive than regular Marines uh, as a result of it, I think just having Chaos Marines as being that much more sort of like experienced and having that slightly higher level of sort of like, you know, uh, wanton bloodlust in combat would, would kind of be okay for them getting an extra attack for. Next up they showed us the Possessed who, aside from having a god awful kit in my opinion, have always been plagued. <laughs> Get it? played by their d3 roll for their number of attacks but no more now it is going to not just a flat number but it's going to four so it's a buff in terms of what they could have got before but the most important thing in my opinion is that it's a flat number so you've got that reliability and that stability and knowing how many dice you're going to be throwing for their attacks because there's nothing more frustrating than having a random attack weapon and rolling those sort of ones and twos when you're you're making your number of attacks i think the fact that they're getting buffed up to a static number and the fact that this static number is an increase over what they could have got before makes them alone much 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 more viable in my eyes but that isn't all they got their melee weapons are still as you can see on the screen minus two ap and one damage but they are now plague weapons so they get even more reliability from those rerolls to wound. And in addition to that, the article states that they're getting a bump up to toughness five, which is fantastic. It's gonna make possessed really, really, really strong, keep that survivability, because I believe they have a invulnerable save as well. So they're gonna have that survivability. And then when you get into combat, you don't have to worry about them only having like, you know, one attack or two attacks with, with the, the bonus to the charge. They're always gonna have at least four attacks when they charge into combat. And that is just going to make them so much more reliable at chewing through your enemies. Um, they're also getting two abilities in Remorseless and Contagion of Nurgle, which we don't quite know what they do yet. Uh, they're mentioned in the article and it says that the Plague Marines are getting it as well, but they, they don't kind of explain what those rules are. I think it's fair to say that although Possessed are probably going to get a points increase, they're still going to be an incredibly scary melee unit for tearing through things like hordes and lightly armoured enemies. The final thing that this short preview covers is the demon engines. And I know that everyone loves to lament the demon engines with their very middling weapon and ballistic skill, and that doesn't look to be the case anymore. So weapon skill and ballistic skill are going to three up instead of the incredibly mediocre four up. They show off the defiler profile, but I believe there have been some leaks shown for things like the blight haulers and such that 
appear to kind of back up this this kind of change as well and in my opinion that's huge the filers essentially go from being ballistic skill hitting on fives from the days of eighth when they moved to now hitting on threes even when they're moving in ninth which is absolutely enormous it's going to make them so much more reliable when you're moving them up the board and want to get that firepower up towards the enemy um, and it's definitely going to make demon engines appear a lot more on the table i'm sure i think my favorite thing about this is that the article states that these improvements will be carrying over to the other heretic astartes armies when they get their codexes so things like mauler fiends and forge fiends and their demonic cousins are all going to be getting this bump to weapon skill and ballistic skill as well which is absolutely amazing like mauler fiends I love, I love the model from Mortal Fiends, and I've always thought they were, you know, they were good. I, I never thought that they weren't good, but they were just on the cusp of being great. And this bump to being a uh, weapon skill three up is going to make them so much more powerful when they get into melee. And I think one of the big things that is going to make this even stronger is running a Lord Discordant with them, which was already a good way to run demon engines, but now that they're three up going to be going to a two up with the lord discordant they're just going to be absolutely brutal when they get into combat with with your enemies overall i think this preview although it wasn't particularly long they did say they are going to cover some more death guard stuff uh, over the um well i don't know if it'll be this week or if it'll be next week if the codex goes up for pre-order obviously this weekend then then there will probably be a lot of articles next week as we um kind of build up the hype towards it but it looks like there are going to be some very solid and well-deserved buffs coming for the chaos marines i will say that one thing that slightly irks me is that it does seem to me like there's very much a homogenization of bringing them more in line with their loyalist brethren which i get i mean i totally get it they are after all space marines but part of me wishes that games workshop could differentiate them slightly more than they have done maybe i don't know make the chaos units and, and creatures keep their four plus to hit but counter that by having more attacks than the loyalist marines to kind of differentiate between the loyalists which are very sort of like precise and careful and measured about where they hit and the chaos marines where they just they're less accurate and they just swing wildly but they have those more attacks to represent their sort of like anger and rage as they charge into combat but in any case i am very pleased to see these changes for the death guard and i can't wait to see what is in store for the thousand suns and the chaos space marines codex and quite possibly uh, in the next couple of years the world eaters and the emperor's children so that's just a quick video covering the very short preview of the death guard upcoming rules and upcoming codex let me know what you think of these rules that we've had previewed and let me know as well which chaos codex you would like to see next would you like to see the main chaos marine one get a release or would you like to see another cult specific one maybe the empress children or maybe the world leaders get their time in the sun let me know in the comments below and as always thank you ever so much for watching please like comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and until next time i'll catch you later guys